We're back. Hello everyone and welcome back to 31 Days of Halloween. If you don't know what that is, it is essentially Vlogmas only Halloween spooky edition where every single day in the month of October I do something spooky, scary, or Halloween related. And today is day one. I am so excited. It is just so, oh my gosh, the excitement is like <laughs> building up in me. I've talked to Cody about this once upon a time where when I get really excited, my, it almost feels like the excitement is running through my veins and it almost like hurts almost like in a good way kind of you know if you relate to that please let me know maybe a little bit confused because right now I do have blonde hair and I do believe future me will have pink hair and what has happened is that it is actually July 30th here's the proof very early, I know, but I always decorate for Halloween and fall in August. I have August, September, and October are reserved for fall Halloween decorations, and then November, December, and then some of January are reserved for Christmas decorations. So we're gonna go ahead and get started, and I'm so excited, oh my gosh. So, oh my god, there's a fly in here. Once puppy sees that fly, all hell's gonna break loose. That was so weird. It sounded like someone was like opening a door or something. Anyway, <laughs> spooky already in the first day. Yeah. Okay, but anyway, I think future me has pink hair. I have blonde hair because it is July 30th and you all won't be seeing this until October 1st. <laughs> that is a very long time. I'm really realizing that, but that's okay. 31 days of Halloween has started already. And the reason I am going ahead and filming this is because I want you all to see all of my fall and Halloween de decorations, but I can't wait until October. That is just ridiculous. I've never, I, who does that? Also, you know how some people get really upset about, you know what, I'm not gonna go off on a tangent. I, get, I do that too much. I'll finish my thought, but I won't go off on any more tangents, I swear, okay? What I was gonna say is I can't stand when people get upset when people decorate for holidays like way, way before the time or whatever. Like people think like you should only have Halloween decorations out in October, you should only have Thanksgiving decorations out for November and then December, you know, so on and so forth. Um, I say screw that because I love fall and Halloween. It's my favorite time of year, my favorite. <laughs> and I am going to enjoy all of my decorations. Slash, it also takes me quite a while to get all the decorations up and also down from the attic too. So it's just a whole lot of work that I don't want to just do in like a few weeks and then just have to like put it right back up. It's just too much. I'll show you a before of what the house looks like. It's kind of a wreck because I got rid of all of the vineyard stuff that I normally have out and put that back up in the attic and just left like a few things here and there that, you know, can get mixed in with the fall stuff. So now the first thing I want to show you all is that, okay, well this is like a dirty rack and so don't pay attention to that right there. Um, but this stuff right here is stuff that Cody and I just got from Big Lots. I called and was like, do you all have your Halloween decorations out yet? And she was like, yes, we do it. And I was like, oh, okay, I'll be right there. So we went and got a couple of things here. So I got these dish towels, stay spooky and boo. Cody picked up the spider one and I picked up the ghost because I love anything with ghosts on them. Um, I got two packs of these baths to put on the wall and thing. I've never used them, but I've seen people have these on like Pinterest and stuff. And I'm very excited to explore that. Uh, I got this dish, which is actually $16. And that seems rather expensive for this like piece of wood, but I really liked it. So uh, I just got it anyway. I probably shouldn't have, but whatever. Uh, I got this mug, vampire blood. I got this spooky thing and this over here says I am here for the booze and has skeletons on them. Um, have a wicked Halloween with the black cat. And then this little ghosties that say boo. These two ghosts right here, enter if you dare and boo. Um, we got two candles. One of them is honey butter pumpkin or something like that. Yeah, honey, honey butter pumpkin. And it smells absolutely amazing. That's not focusing, but whatever. And then we got some pillows. It says, hey boo on it. I'm super excited about these. I got two of them. I don't really know why. I just felt like I needed to have two. Um, and then we got this Ouija board pillow right here. It has like tassels 
on the two. And then this stuff right here is stuff that we have already had. I just got it out from this cabinet right here. Now I also need to show you all that um, when we got rid of all the vineyard stuff and put it up in the attic, we brought down all the Halloween stuff that we we're gonna put up. And this is what it looks like. All of this is fall <laughs> and Halloween items. Now keep in mind, this box right here is filled up with stuff. These are two laundry baskets filled up with stuff. These big trash bags, or trash bags? <laughs> what the heck is a trash bag? Um, the trash bags have like my pillows and blankets and things like that in them. Okay, I also have Ghostface. He is out right now. I got this broom. My parents got it for me from Cracker Barrel and it just like roams around by itself and has like a witch laughing. Mm -hmm. This blanket also came from Cracker Barrel, has glow in the dark skeletons. So um, this is what the house looks like right now. Kind of bare for me. I mean, I know maybe some people it would be like, mm, doesn't look very <laughs> minimalistic to me, but to me, this is like really bare. It's almost like echoing in here. So this is the before of everything we are going to do. Like everything's off the fireplace. All this will be totally changed. Right puppy? Very upset with me right now for some reason. Bathroom right here. I took everything down right here except for like a few items that I think may stay, but I'm not sure. A uh, new shower curtain and rug and all of that good stuff. Everything. I already put my... Oh, I already put my ghost soap there though. <laughs> I got too excited. Spooky corner always gets done and I put my acorn thing up right there. <laughs> Don't judge me, I just had to do, I just I just got too excited and I had to put little spurts here and there that I could. I'm probably gonna put like some glass pumpkins and some other just like decorative things around here. So that is the before. I think I'm gonna turn on the Halloween movie, like, you know, Halloween, like Michael Myers and get to work. As you all can probably tell, it's dark now. It is about to turn 10 o'clock p.m. And it's super dark, which may be okay for some Halloween decorations, I don't know. But my time lapse and things may have been a little shorter than I was expecting. They may be fine, but um, I realized that all I do is stand around for three hours thinking about what I'm gonna do. <laughs> so that time lapse wasn't very interesting, I'm sure, but now I have fully completed everything. My back is killing me, my feet are killing me. We did take a dinner break, but you know, that didn't last too long. I've literally been working majority of the time. So now it's time to show you all everything I did. And then we're also gonna see what Cody thinks about it too. So as you can see, when you walk in, I changed all the pillows and blankets and things. Um, so I got these pumpkins. Pretty much anything you see is either from Big Lots or from Burks, I promise. So welcome to our haunted house and these two pumpkins on the sides here. Um, I just hung these like spooky <laughs> shackles or whatever. I don't know, I just set them there. Um, and then I have my witch's broom here. Over here we got the trick or treat pillow. And of course my prize possession, Chucky and Tiffany. Chucky is signed by the guy who played Andy in the original Child's Play movies. Um, I also took the liberty of changing out my magazine to um, haunted places. <laughs> The bathroom here we got this new shower curtain pumpkin patch farm i like i liked it because it's black and it has a clip but oh my gosh that's how tired i am i can't even form a sentence i like this one because the black and the crows on it on the shelves here i got home sweet haunted home um and then i put like some more crow and like black accents because we have this black cabinet here with a gold accent so i'm kind of just kind of i don't know just going with that theme i don't know bear with me please uh ghost soap obviously and then over here with the towels i have my friday 13th towels because they're like black and stuff but um they may change if we decide to buy more things now here is the dining table i got all of the pumpkin and leaf placemats and then i did this candle stand i normally do like a bigger centerpiece but lately i've been kind of being a little more minimal i guess um but i got this one because i thought it was kind of spookier and then of course all these decorations just like random little 
knick-knacky things over here. I'm sorry the lighting is like so yellow, but like that's just what it's like here. <laughs> and then also right here next to the dining table, I just set up this Hello Pumpkin sign, this cute little like candle holder, and then this guy, he's supposed to light up, but he hasn't worked for years, which is kind of annoying. I even teach the bulb and stuff. He's just like not gonna work ever again. Now for the living room, here's all of the pillows we have. This took me forever to figure out how I wanted to place all of the pillows, what went where. Um, I got my puppy Halloween blanket right here. And then um, I also put up this little sign right here just for the heck of it. I got my candy corn little candle holder and then the acorns and the pumpkin thing and the pumpkin candy dish and then up top here I just put in like a few glass pumpkins and some uh, what are those called pine cone candles and then this little pumpkin strip thing this guy right here is the lighting that's going on over here you all can kind of see I'll probably turn off the lights so you all can see more but now over here, I've kind of created, this is my little library is what I call it. I kind of made it spooky with ghosts is my vibe this year. So I have the Ouija board pillow and then a little ghost pillow and then the ghost blanket. And then I put ghost face here because I just didn't know where else to put him, honestly. It was just some little pumpkin, more knickknacky things. The ghosts are over here, a little glass ghost down there. But I decided this year, to put this spooky thing in the center and then the glass pumpkins around it. And then I also have these black skull candles and I don't know, just like a bunch of literally random thing. I don't know what I'm doing. I just do stuff. And then I put the two ghosties down here with some more of those pine cone candles. And then over here, this is like the puppy corner because it's his bed and like all his toys and food and water. So I put the trick or treat pillow that has the dogs wearing costumes and then just a little cute little light up pumpkin. Then also I forgot that I do have this galaxy light on too because it's like my favorite thing to have on for Halloween. I don't know why that is. It just makes me happy having it like this purple hue and stuff. And then of course we have our little ghost girly, which you all probably seen her last year, but she's still very creepy. She creeps me out a lot. Now in this area of the house, I didn't do a whole lot. I just placed this Hello Autumn thing and like a couple little knickknacky, just fall items. Um, we got this little <laughs> hay bell, the scarecrow, and then this little thing that my dad got me from Goodwill. So says, come in for goodies, broom rides, bats in the attic. Now for the kitchen, I do have, I think I'm gonna try and look for a kitchen rug because this is kind of throwing the vibe off, this vineyard stuff. Um, but I put the towel here that I showed you all earlier. I have this sign, that says fresh baked pumpkin pies. I'm obsessed with that sign. I don't know why, it just makes me feel good. Um, this glass pumpkin and I put some candy in him and the pumpkin little oven mitts are hanging. Glass pumpkin ghost towel this is the spooky corner is what i call it and i got the pumpkins strung along up top and then we have our hey boo pillows and then because this little chair set is so summery looking in my opinion i always put like a blanket or like i don't have a tablecloth okay i'm sorry i suck but i always put a blanket here and this year i decided to put the skeleton one because when the sun shines in these windows it's gonna make these skeletons glow in the dark so i'm kind of excited to see that but i think that's everything right i need to do our bedroom and master bathroom and that's just something for another day i don't have the stuff to do that i have like a red comforter that i normally set out for halloween and christmas time but i'm thinking about spicing things up like getting some new stuff for that bathroom especially i don't have anything like shower curtain and that kind of stuff like it just needs to be more there's like it's halloween explosion out here and then you go into the bedroom and you're like oh <laughs> There's nothing special about this. So I'm definitely gonna be working on that. But let's see what Cody thinks of all of our stuff here. My hair's not up. That's gonna be weird in a video. <laughs> um, just walk around and tell me what you think. Okay. About everything. Cause I'm officially done now. Officially, officially, huh? Yep. Unless we buy more stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so not officially. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like this blanket, it's cool. I like this spooky library, it's cool. And then the puppy corner, with the puppy pillow. Oh yeah, I forgot about that one. Yeah, it's got the little doggies in Halloween costume. Yeah, puppy corner puppy. Look, he's coming over. Puppy oh. corner. Yeah, what are you doing in my corner? Get out. What do you think? I like it a lot. I like fall decorations. I'm exhausted. My back hurts really bad. <laughs> when I started, I think it was like 2.30 when I started this, possibly. No, it's, Ooh, it's ten. It's almost 10.30 now. Well, we did take a dinner break. Yeah, but 
Okay, so I have the fireplace on, that little pumpkin, and then here's the pumpkins dancing from that thing. And then you can see like the galaxy a little bit more, um, but it just looks so cozy in here. I'm obsessed. It also smells super good because I put in a brand new Scentsy thing, or I always call them Scentsy, but I don't buy that brand. It's just wax melts. I did warm cinnamon buns and it smells so good in here. It smells like fall. I'm so excited. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video and day one of 31 days of Halloween. And I know it's kind of like a time warp check because like, this is July 30th and you're watching this October 1st, but um, I promise you not every video is gonna be like this. I just couldn't wait to decorate for fall, so this video had to be recorded early. Make sure to stick around, make sure to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell and all that good stuff because I'm gonna be here every single day in the month of October doing something spooky, scary, or Halloween related. I'll see you all tomorrow. <laughs> I love you so very much. I'm so proud of who you are as a person, what you do every day, and see you later. Bye!